I want to be installing low carbon technology to help more broadly, to help with the energy transition. So do batteries offer anything else? Would this be a sustainable, environmentally friendly decision to make? Or maybe even help support the national energy transition? Well, if this is obviously quite a nuanced answer, which is why it could be an interesting video. There will be energy required to manufacture and transport a battery. There's cost in mining and processing materials. There is risk that any of the supply chain, particularly if it's China-based, could be unethical. But purely in terms of emissions, there would be a level of payback in purchasing lower emissions electricity and using it when the grid is dirtier. So the grid tends to be highest emissions at a similar time to the highest costs on Octopus Agile. So moving away from the most costly times, buying in the cheap times, means that we would tend to be buying electricity at the lowest emissions points too. And this varies throughout the year uh, and the agile rates vary throughout the year. But we could assume over a normal day that electricity in the clean times is about a third to 40% cleaner than at the peak. If average UK emissions for electricity are around 175, 180 grams of CO2 per kilowatt hour, a third reduction in that would mean electricity at about 120 grams of CO2. And over the whole year, that would, would mean our, our emissions at home using a heat pump for heating would drop by 400 to 500 kilograms of CO2 just by buying electricity at a different time. A quick search on Google suggests that embodied emissions of a 15 kilowatt hour battery could be in the region of 1.3 tonnes. So a battery at home could pay for itself in about three years, maybe less. And more than this, in offering that level of storage to the grid, we're helping contribute to the wider energy transition. We need storage across the board to help take advantage of variable generation from the sun and from the wind. And battery storage at home could help increase demand that little bit that could minimize the amount of curtailment of wind turbines on the grid. And then storage at a local or community level could help reduce the peaks in demand, which in turn could help reduce the size of infrastructure required upstream, up the cables, and therefore reduce the amount the, the amount of upgrade required in the medium term. So that could be really positive. And then that point about battery supply chains. We might be concerned about battery manufacturing, the use of lithium ion batteries and the role of China in this process. And if we really are concerned with that, then, then technology that's now on the market using sodium instead of lithium could help with that supply chain concern. Although I don't think there are any fully UK supply chain sodium battery manufacturers either. So China's going to be involved at some point.